Hey guys, welcome back to our DMX's Getting Started instruction videos. My name is David Henry and I'm the founder of LearnStageLighting.com where you can find information like this and more. And today, I want to run you through the basics of making cool effects with the DMX's oscillator and sound tracker. So first things first, go over here, we've got a scene up with our two Chave four bars, which if you're not familiar with them, those are two stands that they each have four Parkan uh, LED fixtures on them, red, green, and blue. And what we're going to do, we're going to select all our reds. And the first thing we're going to do is turn on the oscillator. So this right down here is basically the effects engine. It's how you create effects in DMXs. And you can create effects by clicking through the different types here, as you can see, in the amounts, gotta have a type on, and really start working with these different functions to create a cool oscillator. Now the other thing you can do here is click on this macros, go to chases, which is in here. I believe that's the only one. And you get a chase nice and easy. You don't even have to play with these knobs. It'll just turn it on for you. Um, but then you click on one of your faders that you're using and it, it shows you what it's got dialed in. Now, the sound tracker is similar in being able to create cool movement with your lights. And that, you just bring up the level. You tell it basically what EQ band you want. Do you want sub, low, mid, or high? And then attack and release is kind of like a compressor in audio and direction, basically how fast or how slow, and then direction uh, up or, of course, down. And so the way we set that up is we go into preferences. We select our audio input. I'm going to select this microphone and it echoes like crazy. So, um, we're not going to do this for too long because it's driving me crazy in my head and I think you guys might be able to hear it too. But as you can see, the sound through the sound tracker is now reacting through my voice. So, let me turn that off. And we're back to normalness here. Ooh, that was weird. And so, just want to basically show you that that's how the sound tracker and the oscillator work. You've got in the oscillator sign, which is nice and soft. You got square, which is a little choppy triangle which is kind of in between the two you know it's still a fade but it's not um you know not too fadey i don't know it's not like the sign where it um you know it slows down and speeds up at the top and bottom it's it's consistent and then the saw up which snaps down and the reverse of that and the cool thing about these just to show you quick actually i go back to sign because that's my favorite Cool thing about these is that you can set the speed based on the music. So it's one bars, two bars, three bars, four bars, six, eight, twelve, etc., and many, as well as fractions of a bar. Um, and then you can set your BPM here of your song, and they will move accordingly. So as you're recording these different oscillators into your presets and, and those into your banks of course you'll begin to um, program the speed that the music's at and all of a sudden your lights are dancing exactly to your music and that's one of those things that makes DMX is really special uh, if you check it out on their website and and check out some of NTEX videos and some videos that other youtubers have made you can see different ways that you can sync it up with your music via either a VST plug, pro, plugin, if I can speak, in Ableton, or a piece of software NTech has called ShowBuddy, which is similar. As for me, 
I'm out of here. I think this is going to be the end of our short little series, just really giving an introduction to DMXs so that if you're thinking about using DMXs or you just bought DMXs and you don't know what in the world to do, this is the place to come. And to jump and to learn more from here, go check out LearnStageLighting.com where we've got articles and videos and all sorts of exciting stuff for you guys to really take your stage lighting to the next level. That's why I'm here. That's why we cre I create this content and I'm uh, really excited to have you come over and visit the site. So we'll see you over there.